I'm Daniel from the Seychelles and I work with the Department of Risk and Disaster Management. Uh, being a father of two, two beautiful little girls, I was faced with one of the, I would say, iconic parts of my career when we had one of the major landfill fires, as it not only affected the environment, but the population of a small country. I mean, the air pollution from the landfill fire spread over the whole main island. Seychelles has 115 uh, islands, and the main island, Mahe, is where the mixed landfill is. CBRN uh, issues in small island developing states has its own peculiarities. Since uh, we rely a lot on uh, importation and also on the tourism sector, we are vulnerable in our own kind of way uh, compared to landlocked countries. The Indian Ocean is one of the main hubs for marine transportation. So the department focuses not only on your typical natural hazards, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes, but we also pay particular attention to CBRN risk mitigation. Disaster risk reduction is not only about protecting lives, but being a small island, we rely a lot on the environment and our prestige, blue ocean. We also need to protect it with climate change happening, there is a point where we are more vulnerable, not only to sea level rise, climate change related issues, but also CBRN risk mitigation. So the EU CBRN uh, Centers of Excellence Initiative has really supported disaster risk management when it comes to CBRN risk mitigation through their various support, support mechanisms, capacity building, the national action plans, the various regional projects, they have contributed a lot towards giving us the capacity, helping uh, each other internally. So this, uh, I can say the EU CBRN initiative has really brought everyone together uh, with cross-cutting issues from different sectors and everyone having a common goal using the national action plan. The mixed landfill is a mixture of domestic to industrial waste. So you have different kind of CBRN materials in the landfill. All measures were taken to protect the population and uh, preventing this air pollution from reaching to a certain level when it can become disastrous. In comparison to the past uh, six, five years ago when we had uh, one of the major landfill fires, it took almost a month to really control the situation. But this time around, due to careful consideration in preparedness planning, coordination with different sectors and where to get the resources to deal with the situation, we managed to contain the fire within just five days, which is a major achievement. So one of the lessons learned is if you take action now, we can prevent such, uh, such accidents from happening. Coordination is the key. And in line with this year's theme, disaster risk management is not only for the disaster risk reduction sector, but it is something that's owned by everyone from the health, from tourism, from finance, from to the local government level, everyone has a stake in disaster risk reduction and management. And in our particular case with the landfill fire, this is exactly what we showed everyone, that through good coordination, good preparedness, we can manage to reduce the risk of such an emergency from affecting the whole island within a longer period of time. And being a father, I want to protect my daughters from such adverse effects. And this is when we come to the theme of sustainability. How do we protect those things which are now for the future generation?